Let's, Let's talk, talk about, about part, part apart. <laughs> part apart is a very simple move. You take a thing, you break it down into a part or parts, and then you take one of those parts and break that down into a part. Right? Very simple. But we do it all the time. Well, and I would imagine we do it all the time about all kinds of stuff. All kinds of so stuff. So as you were actually literally drawing that, I was thinking, well, what's a part of a part? And I was looking at you, obviously, because that's what I do a lot. Yeah. And I was looking at, so for example, you have all these parts. You're a physical thing with yep. parts. And I was like, you have your face, which I think is beautiful. Face. Yep. Right? But there's a part of your face, which is your eyeball. The eyeball. Which I also like to look at. And then your eyeball has parts. Yeah. You have like yeah. your pupil. Pupil. Your cornea. Your Cornea. <laughs> Your lens. The lens. There we go. There's part of parts happening right there. That's a great drawing. That's pretty good, isn't it? All right, so let's think of another one. Let's do another one. Mm, how about something? A sentence. A sentence. That's yeah. a good one. So what are the parts of that? Uh, so you could think about, you know, the, the, I don't know, the angry dog jumped over the f Jumped, I forget the term, the cow. over the cow. <laughs> so there's the sentence, that's a, a hole. Uh -huh. And you might have certain phrases like the angry dog jumped over and the cow or something like that. So those might be parts. And then you have a part inside, like dog is part of this thing. And then dog is broken up of parts of letters. So you get, you know, three parts there, right? And then, of course, the D is has a downstroke and a, you know, if you're teaching somebody how to write a D. And then, of course, those lines and things have dots. So you can just keep going and going and going. So you could do that across all levels Everything. of scale. There's nothing in the universe that you can't do this with. Well, so. Thinking, and doesn't do this itself. Well, yeah. So I was thinking about the, the big to the little. And I was thinking about, you know, Taylor Swift. Yeah. Is on everyone's mind now, the biggest concert. And I was thinking about all of the production. I was thinking about revenue is yeah, a part. It's pretty impressive. It's probably a part of the whole. Yeah. So she's got, you know, three shows a weekend at 70,000 people per show. And then she's got the, you know, t shirt and the merch, merch sales. And so those are parts. And then, you know, maybe for the merch, the, the merch has a bunch of parts like T-shirts, mm -hmm. which apparently you have to wait in line for like three hours to get a T-shirt. And I don't know what else they sell at a Taylor Swift concert. You've been Everything to one. What do they sell? Taylor, Everything like with cups, Taylor on. Cups. T-shirts, hoodies, hoodies, posters. Right. Posters. They sell these bracelets that light up in different colors. Right. So we could we could look at each one of these parts individually and then hoodies could be broken down into, you know, uh, you know, colors, red, blue, whatever. And you could see where your revenue is coming from. So, you know, it's a part whole system that's made up of part of parts. Yep. That's it for part of parts. <laughs>